All right, so I have decided to play another round of Minecraft, this time on my own. This is not connected to the Skyblocks uh, game that Norzale and I are running. Uh, this is just for my own entertainment, because I do play this a lot on the Xbox, and I kind of want to see the differences on the PC version. Um, so we are just going to get right into it. Let's see, world name... Hmm. Pivot. There we go. Game rules. Uh, oh, I don't want to mess with any of that stuff. All right. Cool. All right. So, things that I am going to be doing in this Minecraft world. I'm going to build a house. That's for sure. I don't know how big I want to make my house, and I don't know what I want to make it out of. Oh, boy, this world. That's some slow rendering. Oh, that's a lot of sand. That's a lot of water. Okay, this island is useless to me. This, this, don't tell me this is what it's going to be like. Oh, that's actually... Is that useless to me? No, yeah, no, yeah, that's pretty much useless to me. Why is the water, like, not flowing into that? Oh, hey, there's a mine over here. No, well, that's not really a good mine. I could make my house out of stone, but the problem is there's no trees! All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna run. There's some trees over here, so I just gotta swim for dear life. Oh, I hate this. Oh wow, that is a really low stamina count. That is definitely one thing that you don't have to worry about on the Xbox. I could run forever on the Xbox. At least it feels like I'm running forever. There's some wood over here. It's still on a very large island, so I'm pretty much just going to be using these, yeah, to get some tools, and then I'll be making my way over to that bigger island. This is kind of cool, though. Like, I've never been in a situation where it's just a bunch of islands. Like, most of the worlds I've played, you know, I usually start out in, like, a forest or a jungle biome. All right, so let's make my oak planks. Let's make my crafting table. Throw my crafting table down there. Hold up, make another log. Get another log. There should be enough here to make... most of my gear. Alright, get the axe first, get the pickaxe second. Fantastic. It's a good start. Finish up this tree. Get some logs. And then I will once I've gotten all of this log and I've gotten my uh, basic tools, and I'll finish with this birch. Once I've got all my basic tools, I will then disassemble my crafting table and head out. Alright, so grab. All of these, all of those, make more stick, make a shovel, uh, make a hoe, <laughs> uh, 
uh, make more stick, make a sword. Alright, we're pretty stacked. Go ahead and disassemble my crafting table. Ugh, I can't swim fast because I can't run on the water. Oh, my swim speed is so slow. Oh, there we go. Now I'm moving faster. Just have to actually swim for a bit. Alright. So this island. Oh, there's cows. Cows and... Oh, that's a lot of sheep. Um... Alright, so the good thing is... that there is wool for a bed. I still have enough sticks to make a door. So I can make myself a little hidey hole. Uh, there's also... There's also, you know, the cow gives me leather, which will eventually become books, which will eventually become uh, enchanting table. Come on. Die. Cow. How is a cow running away from me? Come on. There we go. Alright. And there's coal here. Which means I have torches if I need them. Uh, for now, because I'm going to try and see how deep that goes. Uh, what I plan to do... Alright, we'll start it here. Why am I using a hoe for this? Shovel. There's also plenty of water, so I can make myself a basic farm. Alright, so there's the two in I need for a bed. We'll make it a little bit farther and a little bit wider. Alright. So we will throw the crafting table down there. Activate the crafting table if I can actually, you know, think. Throw the three wool down and make a bed. And then I need my recipe book open because I forget how to make a door. Okay, it's just a bunch of plank. Cool. We've got everything we need. Door. Come here. And then we got some seeds so we can start some wheat up. Uh, throw the bed. Alright, I got a way to do this. There we go. Bad. Oh. Yeah, that actually works out pretty well. We can actually make this a little bit larger than we thought. Uh, throw the door right there. So now we have a place to sleep and we have a crafting table. So if the worst comes to worst, and I don't find any more wood ever, I at least have a home back on this island. Uh, I don't see anything in the nearby vicinity that will give me more wood, and I did not find any saplings from the tree I harvested. So I'm going to have to go find trees. Like, I'm just going to have to. Which is going to be rough. I have no idea where the nearest island is. Do I have enough to make a boat? Okay, if I have enough wood left to make a boat, I should be okay. Because at least then I can row myself to other islands. This is why I like playing uh, random worlds. Because I would have never found this uh, world gen on my own. Never. Not once in a million years. Like, if, if I was playing with my friends, this would never have happened. Oh, good, I can make an open boat. I still have enough to make a boat. Nice. Open the door. Close the door. Close the door, hold door. Alright, uh, I got a boat. I got a boat. Wow, a wood sword took a... A wooden sword took a lot of beating. All right, left shift to dismount. Let's go island hunting. Oh, I need to make a map. I need paper to do that, which means I need a uh, sugar cane, which kind of sucks because I don't see any... Oh, my God, that moves so fast. That turns so fast. 
Oh, there's an island way off in the distance. All right, cool. Maybe that'll have trees somewhere. Ooh, tree. All right, so I have decided on what my goal for this game is. My goal is to turn the island I started on into my island paradise, my spot. Uh, I'll use this boat to get around if I need to, but I want to try and find some oak, some some saplings, some tree saplings, so I can start making myself a little tree farm. Oh, what's this wood? I don't think I've encountered this at all yet. Is this redwood? What is this? Acacia. Cool. Alright, so I have acacia wood now. That's kind of cool. Alright, so that's too high to keep doing that to. Uh, I've got six logs. I need more. Ooh, more wool. You always need more wool if you want to make something pretty. I wish the world wasn't so dark just in general. Like, if you're not staring... Like, if you're staring anywhere near where the sun is is currently, everything's so dark. But if you're staring at the sun, sorry, if you're staring away from the sun, everything's fucking perfect. But if you're staring anywhere near the sun, you're like, oh, look, pure silhouette. Then again, it is getting dark out. I'm going to kill... these two, just those two, come on, come here, just so I have an even three wool on me, now I'm going to go get in my boat and run the hell away before uh, I get monstered, come on. Thankfully, my island is to the west, so I still have, I can chase the sun for a little bit. My island shows up. I also need to make some way for me to know that that's my island from a distance. Oh my, there's zombies under the water. They can swim now. Come on, hurry before it gets too dark. I can barely see my screen. Uh, I'm going to use my axe to kill the spider. Oh, my axe broke, and the spider didn't die. Come on. Oh, come on. Okay. Next thing I need to do is make, uh, I need to use some of the coal that's around here uh, to make a couple torches. Oh wait, what am I doing? Yeah, no, actually this is the better way to do it. I wait, because my shovel's still great. I'll just punch the spider to death, screw it. Oh my god, I'm going to die to a spider. Hey guys, come here. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to get some of this stone, make some stone uh, tools. So I have more than enough acacia. I have 17 acacia logs. That is way more than I need to make uh, all my tools once I get all this cobblestone. Because so I need three for the axe, three for the pick, uh, pickaxe. So that's six right there. Ah, what hit me? I don't know what hit me. Alright, so first things first. New plan. New plan. Hear me out. Hear me out. New plan. I'm going to make a furnace. Right now. And I'm going to make a stone sword. Stone sword. Place the furnace down. Pop my birch plank in there. 
and my mutton. And as soon as this one is done, I'm going to pick it up, eat it. I'll leave the rest in the furnace for a little bit. I need to heal. All right, so I'm healing now. Fantastic. Um, if anything keeps hitting me, I can I can start fighting back. Uh, I need. All right, so. Now I have enough for my pickaxe. Now I have enough for my pickaxe and my axe. There's the shovel. There's the hoe. And that's it. Now I need to get this coal so I can make some torches. so I can light up my little home. All right, that's enough for now. Let's go uh, recap. I should have more of my beef done too. First things first though. Let's make my new pick axe replace uh, let's just make all of it in the plank uh, ooh, can I do this yes all right cool that makes sticks so that, that that's nice I have never tried to do that before I know weird but I've just never tried to use uh, multiple wood for the same, well, different types of wood for one project. There's my hoe. Oh, I actually had more uh, cobblestone than I needed at the present moment. All right, so now we have all of that. So I think, yes, let's do it this way. Um, well, let's, we're, we're expanding this way. We're going to throw chest, chest. There we go. So we throw the spider eyes in there. Keep the seeds. We're going to need that. Really would like to find some iron ASAP so that I can make, uh, couple buckets. So we make a couple buckets. I have, oh, there's sugar cane. I can make paper, which means I might be able to make a map. Oh. All right. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to start a sugar cane farm, uh, which is actually a lot easier than it sounds. You just got to plant your sugar canes along the water. They can't, they have to be directly adjacent to water so that they won't work on a diagonal. But I can start my sugar cane farm up. So I make it probably all the way out to there, roughly. Oh, an actual line. That reminds me, I have to go make torches. So I have six coal, so that's 24 torches. Because one stick and one coal makes 24 torches, or makes four torches. So let's make there. Put that there, put that there. 24 torches. Put one in my room, two in my room, so that monsters will never spawn here. Move the doors out. Do not need doors. Now I can go try and find some... I can collect more stone because I'm going to need more stone. Uh, I should also... Not what I was trying to do. I should also probably work on finding seeds so that I can make uh, a uh, wheat farm. I have no idea what these white flowers are good for. I'm sure I will find out when my crafting table looks at me. 
but for right now I need a few more seeds. Dandelions are nice for making pretty things because that makes yellow dye. I don't know anything else that's good for, but hey, pretty stuff. Uh, Alright, good enough. I'm gonna go do that mine. I'm gonna go in here. Alright, so there is a decent... Yeah, there's a decent set of natural stairs. Nice. Dude. Everything I could ever want Huh. I am smarter than you. I am smarter than you. I think. There's some coal there. And then it's a dead end. So I'm gonna, oh, hey, there's one iron. Where there's one, there might be more. Two. Three. Four, five, I found five, ooh, six, oh wow, that is actually, that was seven iron, just sitting there. So I have enough for an iron pick and a bucket, because a bucket takes three iron ingot. Okay, that's a good start, because that means that I can make my infinite water source anywhere else so what I'll do is I'll take from there, and I'll make uh, my own little personal plot of land. Uh, I want to say, I want to say, take out some of this sand, replace it with dirt, like over here, or hmm. Not all that many good options, but for right now I'm going to get my I'm going to get my uh, furnace going on my I'm going to get my furnace ooh food I'm going to get my furnace going on my iron fourteen blocks uh fourteen plank blocks should actually be a decent amount of fuel. So, go ahead and pop some mutton here, so I heal up again. Azure blew it. What is that used for? Light gray dye. Sure, we'll grab that. Grab the yellow dye. Make bone meal, which turns into white dye. Uh, you know what? You know what? Can I make this bed into a yellow bed just by adding dye? I can! Fantastic! That made my day. My bed is yellow now. Yes! Ha-ha! <laughs> Personalized. Uh, go ahead and open this up. Throw my dies in there. Throw the doors in there. Throw... Uh, I'm going to take half the dirt uh, for my plot of for my little uh, plot of land. Uh, throw all my wood tools in there. The arrow, because I don't need that yet. Uh, and then the raw beef, because I still have plenty of uh, mutton on me. That was quick. Nice. Uh, go ahead and make my bucket first. I'll make shears soon, I promise. Uh, and then I will go ahead and make stick. And I actually still have enough to make both a pick and a shovel. So make the pick first so that we can replace that. And then make the shovel. Because it doesn't matter what you do, shovels go like hotcakes. Uh, it looks like it's getting light out, so I'm going to go ahead and sleep. Getting light out. It's getting dark out. Once my brain can properly brain. Now we're gonna we're gonna take the time to work on our farm. So. Let's see. Uh, from the edge of water, you can till land three squares out. 
you can till dirt three squares out and it'll it'll soak up and be irrigated uh, for farming. So I actually might just want to start with something simple. This four this four square plot of land. Grab my bucket. Grab water. Fill water. Grab water. Fill water. Now this is infinite. We can take water and it will always fill up. Till, 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 till. This is going to be our farm. Uh, go ahead and throw my wheat seeds down. It's going to take a while to get set up because I'm going to be, it's, it's an investment period. I'm going to be using my seeds to grow more seeds. Now I can always go, you know, hunt for more seeds. But I could instead be spending my time doing, you know, important things like being on the lookout for more iron, probably more coal, things like that. Grabbing more cobblestone, because for the foreseeable future, I'm not going to have any more iron without... Oh, I was wrong! Nice, right, so there was a nice four more iron. That was beautiful. Here I was, literally right about to say, I'm probably not going to be getting any more iron for the foreseeable future, because I'm making an island paradise, not going out and hunting for iron. And then the game's like, here, have some iron. Thank you. It's only four, but hey, that's another uh, that's another pickaxe. Which, a pickaxe, a pickaxe is the most useful tool in the game. Arguably. Oh. oh, an underwater mine. Not really very uh, mineable, but we can uh, we can get what we can get out of it. Cause there's some more iron right there. So I just have to be careful and not suffocate. Are things just harder to mine underwater? I mean, it would make sense if they are. Go ahead and breathe a bit. Sink down. You know, I just found out right now that I can use shift to sink under the water. That's awesome. Oh, crap. All right, breathe. Dude, who knew underwater mining would be so valuable to me? Breathe. That was really cool. Alright. I don't think there's anything else I need to be looking for at the moment in this mine. But I should also note that there's still a lot of coal here. Alright, so let's go get that iron into my furnace. Um, I also... Let's see, so that much iron... I 
probably going to be pretty nice. Uh, let's get some more sheep. I need to figure out, I need to uh, learn how to tame uh, sheep again sometime in the near, uh, near future. Because if these sheep keep spawning on my island, I'm just going to start a sheep farm. Ah, oh, my sugar cane has grown in one spot. So, harvest this sugar cane. Not what I wanted to do. So you know what we do? We just replace. There we go. Alright, so now we throw the sugar cane here. And yes, we always want a water bucket on hand. Because later on in the game, uh, water bucket is actually one of the most useful things you could ever have on you. Because uh, the only way to get obsidian uh, without finding it naturally is to uh, cons uh, consume a, a lava source block with water. So if you have a water bucket on hand and you know where a lava source block is, you can just put the water source block next to it and then collect. And then you pick the water source spot uh, back up with your water bucket. You have an infinite supply, but you have an easy access to obsidian once you get a uh, diamond pick. Good luck getting the diamond, though. You know, there's another really good thing that came out of uh, this uh, little beach island. That's the, all the sand. Is this another mine? This is another mine. Why are you on fire? And why am I not killing you faster? Eat some mutton. And we'll figure out what the hell is going on in this mine. Uh, it just looks like a lot of coal, but you never know. Things surprise you. I really want to know what was burning that thing. Alright, so... We are going to have to go, eventually, find more iron. Uh, because the iron I put in the furnace is not going to be enough to keep me forever. Uh, it might be enough to get all of my iron tools but it won't be enough to get armor. Which I actually might want to prioritize. Might want the armor first. So, oh wait, that's 12. Hmm! Three, five, that'll leave me with seven. I think I can at least make a chest piece out of seven, right? We'll find out. Right, so there we go with that. Not that. All right. So the only thing we technically need left is the iron hoe, which we don't really need. Chest piece is. Yeah. Chest piece is, is eight. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to go plant these three seeds. My wheat's starting to grow, it's not quite there yet. It's not going to be for a little bit. I'm going to plant those seeds. Oh. There's still daylight, apparently. 
So I guess what I will do instead is go uh, expand my sugarcane farm. Oh, I can grow on sand? That's kind of cool. Wait, hold up. Ah, there we go. I almost lost one. And now it should be dark enough that I can run home, run to bed, and go take a little uh, nap. Yes! All right. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go try and find an island with a decent mine. i got to get my boat. Have I even looked here yet? Nah. Nah. Here's some sandstone. Uh, but yeah. I don't think I actually finished my thought on the sand. Alright, so sand, if you don't play Minecraft uh, and you don't know what makes what, sand makes glass. So if you want to make anything pretty, like, you know, glass window panes, stuff like that. Beaches are perfect. They really are. Oh, that's right. I wanted to go make, uh, I wanted to go kill enough trees that I could make a, that I could, I could get a couple of saplings so that I can start some trees. There's also some sugar cane there, which I don't, I don't need because I have sugar cane on my island now. Oh, I think I might have found the mainland. I think that might be what it is. Right, shift to get off of that. Uh, this is a pretty tall uh, drink of water. So thankfully I have dirt with me. There we go. I just need a sapling. One. Exactly one. And then my investment will eventually pay off dividends. Right? That's how that works. Ugh, dirt. Oh, that was way close. <laughs> you can't break trees with torches. I mean, you can. It just takes forever. That's not lava, is it? <gasps> lava falls. There might be diamond on this on the near those mountains. Something to look forward to. Do I have to break the leaves to get the saplings? Let me try. Let me see if just smashing a bunch of leaves will eventually net me a sapling. I don't know how this works. There's there's a lot of stuff that I still don't know about Minecraft because I haven't played it in like aside from aside from the the uh, the game I have going on my uh, oh good I did get it a, a sapling uh, aside from the game I have going on on my Xbox which I started about a week ago where did I leave my boat uh oh. Uh, aside from that game and the game that I'm playing with uh, Norzale on Skyblock, I haven't played this game in 12 years. Like, aside from those two things, that's it. 12 years. I did my waiting. 12 years of it. Offline. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So, got my acacia sapling. Which means I can start growing a tree. I think that's my island. I uh, still need to make some sort of beacon. Uh, what I'll probably do is uh, take the time to build a campfire. I really have to remember that left shift is all you need to get out of the boat. 
uh, I'll probably make a campfire and then like set up a, uh, a beacon of sorts, like from here, like go go pretty high up and then put a campfire on top of that. Uh, maybe stone or something, and then make some ladders so that I can you know go up there. Um, should be pretty pretty uh, effective. Uh, how do I make a campfire? How do I make a campfire? Campfire. Boom. Done. I got eight cobblestone. I can get a hell of a lot more cobblestone. I'm not really worried about that. Uh, oh, not tab. E. Stop it! Keep hitting buttons. I don't need to hit. Alright, so I'm going to plant my tree. Over this way. This will be the first of many. Right there. That'll take forever in a day to grow, but it will eventually lead to much stuff. Well, another another mega project that I'm eventually going to get to do is I'm eventually going to connect these two islands, probably with dirt or something. Something simple like that. I could go grab all the dirt from the starting island. Wouldn't be necessarily a bad idea. Because that would let me uh, make a land bridge all the way over here that I could, you know, do some farming or stuff with. Make a giant ass farm. I will never run out of food. Who knows? Options. Options for the future. Uh, anything else for my immediate concern? Right, getting the beacon set up. Uh, let's get a bunch of cobblestone. Alright, so we should have more than enough cobblestone there. That should be like... We should have like 20 in our, in our, in our inventory. 22. Uh, and then we'll make a bunch of ladders. Which I need stick for. So each one gives me three. It takes seven to do, so I can do a few more. Good enough. I have 15 there. I'll keep the rest of these. Uh, ladder, cobblestone, campfire. I think you can also cook stuff on campfires, but I'll find out. Here's as good a spot as any, I suppose. So we'll go 15 up. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Actually, 10's probably pretty good. Should be able to see that from basically wherever. Oh, this is going to suck. I should totally have thought that through. <laughs> ah, I made it work. Fantastic. Um, where did my campfire go? That's not how that works. All right, let's get on top of here. Break my campfire. <gasps> what? Do I have to break it with an axe? Or it just loses the campfire? Did I just waste logs and sticks? That's upsetting spaghetti. Campfire! Alright, so we don't need any of those anymore, so I can put my meat back there and leave that one slot open.
we can do is write. Ah, that burns, that burns, that burn! Ow, that hurt. Alright, I know what we need to do. Hold up. That'll do. That'll get me up there. No, that won't get me up there. Actually, I will. Okay. Quick answer. Ah, but, 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 do this. Do that. Ow, 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 ow. Don't be an asshole. Yeah, 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 I know there's monsters. <laughs> Good thing I'm right by my bed. What the hell? Alright, I'm gonna go get my stuff before it despawns. Because that would suck. Oh my, it is everywhere. I'm probably gonna be missing at least one thing. Oh yeah, I'm missing a ton of stuff. Okay. I think that's everything. Okay, first off, fix this. That is not everything. I am missing... <laughs> missing my brain, for one. Alright, some of it's just going to end up despawning, because I can't see a thing in the dark. I can finish all of that tomorrow and collect whatever I screwed up. Thankfully, I was right by my bed. I don't know how long something takes to despawn, or if it even despawns at all. All those burning monsters right outside my door. I don't get it. That's, that's, that's fine. Goody for you. Um... Okay, let's do this again. This time without dying. The controls on this are much touchier. Like that! Oh my god, I can't do it. You know what? I just realized I might be kind of stupid. Problem solved. All right. Doesn't look like I can do anything with a campfire. So that whole point was to see if I could. Question answered. I died for that. Lost a whole bunch of shit for it. Go collect all this cobblestone when I fall. Come on. Stop it. Slow fall. Slow fall. Slow fall. Alright, that's just staying there. I lost my food, too. I lost my cooked food. Oh, maybe I didn't. I think that was the rest of my stuff. Aha! Alright, so the shovel goes there. The hoe goes there. The sword goes there. This one's left open. Uh, that one is food. And this one... This is torches. And that's ladders. That's actually a really good setup for adventure. Like, the actual order of stuff doesn't matter too much. I just prefer things like this. But to have those all five of your tools and some food on you and some ladders and torches are a very good adventuring setup. Because you never know what you're going to need out there. Uh, grind down my bone meal. Turn that into dye. 
throw my wool away, throw my dye away. Not throw it away, away, throw it in my box. Throw my dirt in my box. Uh, can't see why I would need any whole logs at the moment. So we're just gonna make all of that plank. Uh, throw my arrow away. Throw my charcoal, because I have regular coal. Keep my cobblestone. Because cobblestone is useful. Actually, now I think about it, I'm going to grab this dirt and start working on my bridge. So, all I'm really waiting for at the moment is some kind of confirmation that my tree is growing. Oh, that's what I can do with the land bridge. I can make it a little forest and have ready access to wood at all situations. And then I just have to be careful not to over harvest. Alright, so yeah, basically any dirt I collect, for whatever reason, is probably going to end up going towards that land bridge. Which will eventually be my tree farm. Speaking of farms, eat, so I heal. Grab my sugar canes. Once it gets to the point where I can readily harvest plenty of sugarcane, because I need three per book, I need, I, need, I need three paper per book, I need to make a map as well. So that's also going to kind of depend on what I do. One wheat is ready for harvest. Are you getting any seeds back from that? I don't know. Plant that. And plant that. I'm going to make more box and expand my home a tiny bit. My little hobbit hole. Ooh, maybe I should make it a hobbit hole type type deal. Be kind of cool. Oh no. Uh, don't need that. Don't need that torch. Got plenty of light. Grab all this dirt. And this is actually, this situation where I'm, I'm expanding my base, this is actually the perfect, uh, I don't want to say farm, but the kind of basic the idea. Uh, that's the basic idea. Uh, it's the perfect stuff to farm the dirt for my land bridge on. So, not a bad start, all things considered. Uh, box, 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 that's what I was doing. Because... I want a specific box. No, stop that. I want a specific uh, box devoted to uh, my uh, like wheat and stuff. A specific box devoted to food. That way I don't have to go looking through stuff. I know the box next to my bed is my food. Enough said. Um, that being said, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Uh, the next time you guys see me on Minecraft is either going to be Skyblock with Norzale, or more of this stuff. I'm not sure how much I'll get done in the meantime. Uh, but, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the, uh, I don't know, kind of relaxing, uh, very relaxing game of Minecraft, go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you see every time I post the next latest and greatest video on the channel. And don't forget all of my, all of my well, uh, social media tags are in the description below. So if you want to if you want to hit me up, get on the channel, hang out, play games, let me know. We always love company. And as always, I will see you all very soon. Have a great day, guys.